but I'm here for it. I'm here for it, and I'm not giving up, you know. I, I work every day. I work every day, you know. Even when I'm not working, I'm working mentally on myself to make to ensure that I can stand in the paint. I'm standing on business to make sure that I can stand on business when it comes down to my vision and my legacy. There's nothing wrong with facing your demons. I rather face you should definitely rather and consider facing your demons and your insecurities and, and, and you know, face them head on and become friends with them because there's nothing wrong with having a dark side. The dark side is there to protect the light that's within you. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's just don't let it become evil. Don't don't become some don't don't become somebody who hurts people because you were hurt is the message that is the message and once I was able to slay my own internal demons the things that I was fighting up against that were within me like my addictions and my lust and my anger once I faced those demons and I slayed them laid them to rest I was able to balance my emotions I was able to not take everything so personal and I was able to use my voice freely to set healthy boundaries with people so that they would know where I stand, what I stand in, what I'm going for and what I'm not going for. And this this brought me great balance. It brought me great, great balance, um, both spirit, spiritually and emotionally. And on the physical level, um, any and everything that I on the inside felt insecure about, I put my focus on um, from years and years of drug abuse, drug abuse and stress and not getting enough sleep. There were dark, there were some dark, you know, the dark bags up under my eyes. That was, I was an insecure spot for me. I'm going to be transparent here. I came here to be transparent. So let's talk about it. You know, I'm fine. I am. And I was probably fine then too, you know, but I had my insecurities and I know that you know, the drugs were taking the toll on my body. And so these dark things were under my eyes and I didn't like that, you know? And so I started to work on that. I started a skincare routine for myself. I, <laughs> you know, I I started to take care of myself, get the little leg scrubs with the salt, sometimes the sugar, you know, I oil my face. I make sure I wash my cleanse, my face, my face and my body correctly every morning every morning i have a routine i i I have a fitness routine i have a skincare routine i have a spiritual routine i have a routine for everything for my financial stability everything that i'm building is at an it, it is organized and so this is how i am able to stay balanced mentally because i make sure that everything is organized to where i i don't get overwhelmed with everything that I'm trying to do. And so um, my skincare routine, it has done wonders for me. Um, my skin is clearer. My, the bags, the, the dark spots under my eyes, they have, they're barely noticeable. They're going away. There was also this thing with like strawberry legs. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but if you Google it or look it up on YouTube, it's from when you shave, when you start shaving early and from a long time, it, it creates these dark spots on your legs. I didn't really notice it until I ran across the video on my timeline, um, in 2023 the beginning of 2023 and then i looked at my legs and i was like damn i i have that and so you know that became an insecurity for me then and there so i started to work on that i started to not only do a skincare regimen for my face but also for my whole body you know and so though that is coming along great mind you all it is a year later it is uh may of 2024 and uh, my legs are so sexy they have gotten like my whole body has gotten lighter you know and so the resurrection of physicality (laughs) it has been a great success um so being that it is May of 2024, I am currently 17 months on my self-care journey. And not only was I able to reverse the aging process, looking younger than I 
ever have ex- <laughs> but I've also successfully put myself on a path to generational wealth put myself on a path of generational wealth just by simply um, aligning and strengthening my spiritual emotional and physical attributes um, and bes- before I close the video out I just want to say you know, my advice to anyone that is feeling lost or trying to find their way or figure out who you are, the first thing you have to do is go within. Go within and figure out who you are spiritually. Figure out what it means to be a spiritual being. Um, don't be afraid to sit with yourself. You know, sit with yourself with no distractions. You know, if you have to cut off from relationships or if you have to cut off from social media, if you have to cut off like fast from something that you really, really, really love, just sit down and go within, go within, sit with your thoughts, sit with your ancestors, sit with the angels that that protect you and sit around you. There is a voice in there um, always guiding you and trying to show you the way you just have to question, listen, ask yourself, what is this saying to me? What is this trying to push me to do? Um, now, I'm not going to lie to you. It is very hard. It can be very difficult to do when you are um, when you are under mind-altering substances. A mind-altering substance can be anything from, a, um, from drugs to alcohol. I do want to say tobacco as well. A lot of people probably will push back on that, but... Being somebody who actually did was a tobacco person, that is mind altering. That is mind altering as well. It's not as strong as drugs, but it is very mind altering and it is addictive. Anything that is addictive is mind altering. I just want to throw that out there. Um, you know, certain substances they 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 open up different portals from um, for other things to come in and communicate with you. Um, so you just have to be mindful be mindful Um, if you can clear your mind if you can clear your mind going to hermit mode and go within I promise you it will be the best decision that you've ever made and you'll thank me later Once you connect with your higher self and you realize that you don't, that you actually don't need anything, anything or anyone outside of your own being to create a reality or a lifestyle for yourself, um, you will break the glass ceiling that was placed over your mind and everything will start to align for you. Yeah, so this is the message. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading I mean, oh, look at me talking about the reading, Lord. I think I'm on my other channel. I'm going to go ahead and re- end the discussion. I do want to thank you all for listening. I hope this information was able to help somebody. If it resonated with you, drop a comment down below. Hit the like button for me. Share and subscribe. Um, all of your energetic donations are appreciated. If you need, if you want anything from me, if you would like to support me, my um my cash app is in the description box it's also in the bio as well if you would like to donate or help me get my first book published i do want that published by the end of 2024 or if you simply want to you know check out my merch just go to the website i will be adding up some new things once i get all of my designs copyrighted i will be um dropping some new merchandise for you all who are on the spiritual journey and if you're even if you're not and you want to get on the spiritual journey we're here for it and you're more than welcome you know it's all peace love and light over here you know we might be a little rough rough around the edges just a tad bit but it's all love it's all love um yeah so i'm gonna end it there again thank you thank you thank you hit the like comment subscribe share send to you all peace love light understanding wisdom knowledge prosperity and abundance i will it so and so it is done 
In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Oh, yeah, and just a little side note, please go check out my my playlist. It is titled Poem List. There are a lot of very, very good poems in there. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. If you, re- if you resonate with any of those poems, drop a comment for me. That is it, and that is all. I love you all, and be great.